What's up, everybody? Supreme Decisions here. And today, I actually just want to chime in on a video I did, I want to say about four or five years ago, where I spoke about you can remove any case to federal court. Now, got a lot of feedback where people, oh, well, you can't just do that. You can't remove any case. Well, let me give you kind of a baseline of where I got that, because I gave you a couple of court cases in the midst of that, where I'm going to give you something new. Because on December 15, 2014, the United States Supreme Court addressed the important issue governing the procedure for removing cases to federal court. Now, in the midst of doing that, not only did they lay a groundwork, but they also stated, because I had people, in the, again, in the comments say, well, you have to do this, you have to do that. And I responded with, you don't have to have evidence because there's a time and place for everything. Now, why did I say that? Because originally, when I give you information, it's to let you know that that or there is a procedure or process for that, because that process or that thing is available to you. Now, to go in depth, because it requires attention and actual in-depth learning, I save that for the master cat class. Now, what we're going to do again, I'm going to give you a little bit more. And again, to go in depth to it, we're going to address it in the master class. It is going to be crazy in the next couple months. So just know we're getting ready to grow faster than we ever have before. The so, case today is Dart Cherokee Bison Operating Company versus Owens. The court agreed with the majority of federal courts that had addressed the issue, and that was no such evidence is required. The removal statute, which is 28 U.S.C. 1446, requires only, pay attention, a short and plain statement on the grounds for removal. Now, the most common or common is a federal question. The second one would be a civil rights violation due to legal error, bias, or something of that nature, which would be a violation of due process because there are a lot of things that fall under civil rights violations. Now, Rule 8A of the Federal Rules of Civil Procedure don't worry, because I know a lot of you, it threw you because we're talking about criminal cases. But then we also have to understand words have power. Just because you choose to change the meaning of a word does not actually change the meaning of that word. A removal notice need consist only of a pleading and not evidence. Now, at some point, you're going to have to bring forth evidence, but again, that's later in the process because that's part of the actual programming and the process in which it is set up for. Because again, the removing party may ultimately be called upon to prove contested facts with evidence. That's why in the masterclass, I teach you to go line by line, precept upon precept, going step by step and following the process because everything you do in life has a process to it and there's no need for deviation and there's no need for fear. So let's keep going. Let's keep growing. Don't forget to support the podcast and listen out because it's going to drop more frequently because as you see, I'm starting to get back in the studio and do some work. So remember, you can in fact move any case from state court, superior court, to federal court. As long as you understand the process and you know how to do it properly. This is Supreme and I'm out.